Okay, you're good to start. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are going to present on the IBIS budget reports. Our agenda for this session is to start with the BD-307, walk through to the RK-325 and the 457 for the allotment summary report, and then we'll move into some of the previous month reports, that comparison of the 701 and 325, the overexpenditure report, and the previous month negative certified authorized. We'll move into the RK-15, and then we will close out for our session. Starting off with the BD-307, um, this is your certified budget report. This is a static report once the budget is certified. Um, there are two versions of the BD-307, the original and the revised. The original BD-307 will reflect the budget as approved by the General Assembly in the first year of the biennium, and the revised report will reflect any updates the General Assembly has made in their um, second year budget for the biennium. Uh, all signed BD-307 reports can be found on OSBM websites, and then we've also included a screen capture of the pathway in IBIS where you can find those reports. Moving on to the next report, this is our RK-325. This is kind of the sister to the um, BD-701 in NCAS. The RK-325 is your certified and authorized budget report, so this will reflect your certified and authorized budget as it has been amended throughout the year via budget revision. This report updates every hour in IBIS. And again, you can see the pathway on the right side of the screen where you can find that report in IBIS. This up next report is the RK457. This is an allotment summary report. You can run it in IBIS as well. This runs as an Excel file, so when you run the report, it will download as an Excel file. Uh, like Taylor said, you can see the different track that we take to get there that in IBIS that starts with that team content folder. The allotment summary report summarizes allotments by month, which allows agencies and OSBM to track funds that have been allotted and still remain unallotted compared to the authorized budget. This is just one quick screenshot, um, and it starts with the first quarter, but if we had shown the whole page, it would show first, second, third, and fourth quarters for the whole year, and you can find your agency or division numerically, so it starts in the 13s and then goes down to the 14s, and that's how you can find wherever your division is, so it may be closer to the end of the report. We want to walk through some of the previous month comparisons in a little bit. We'll talk more about this, but these are all really important to quarter and year end close. The previous month comparison of the BD701 and RK325 also runs as an Excel file. If your agency is not listed in this report, it means that there are no reconciliation issues, which is a good thing. You do not want to be listed in this report, ideally. Uh, the BD305-1 report in NCAS identifies revisions that did not interface with NCAS. So if you are listed and you think that you have a reconciliation issue, you can go to the BD305-1 to learn more about what revision might be causing the issue. Our goal is that NCAS and IBIS are always in alignment. We cannot close you unless they are aligned. Uh, like I said earlier, this report is used during the closeout process to ensure there are no reconciliation issues. Um, and there's also a current month report that can be used outside of the closeout process, but this is one that we have to have reconciled before we can move forward with close or quarter or year end close. Here we have the previous month over expenditure report. This one also runs as an Excel sheet. The data provided shows a list of each agency or division that was overexpended last month. If your agency again isn't listed in this report, that means there are no overexpenditure, over overexpended accounts. Um, 
in this report, both fund code and account codes are listed and revision revisions are usually able to be done to resolve these issues. And if you reach out to your budget execution analyst, they can help walk you through maybe what the issue is or follow through with any questions and maybe help you pull up previous revisions that were related to another overexpended report um, and can walk you through sort of the historical process for your agency or division and what that looks like. Finally, we have the previous month negative budget report. This also, again, runs as an Excel sheet. Um, the data provided here is a list of all accounts with a negative budget from last month for all budget codes. As you can see, we've got an example listed below for what that looks like. If your agency is not listed in this report, then there are no accounts with negative budgets. Again, another one with both fund and account code listed, so revisions can be done to resolve these issues. But this is one where you need to cautiously review this report because some accounts should be in the negative. This is typically for, for example, I work with HHS. There are some that are negative for transfer accounts, et cetera. And if you are one of those divisions or agencies, you will almost certainly know that that is going to be the case. So when you're reviewing, um, we know that it's fine for those accounts to be in the negative, but for other agencies, when you're reviewing, please make sure that it should be in the negative and use any revisions to um, fix the error. As we've mentioned several times during this presentation, um, a number of these reports are critical to your success in quarter and year and closeout. They're listed here, um, specifically the ones we've talked about the previous month reports, as well as the RK325, the BD701, and the BD702. Um, these, these will be reports that you all use significantly during those quarter and year and closeout processes to ensure that everything is in alignment appropriately. And the final report that we're going to talk about today is the RK15. This is a multi-purpose report, um, and essentially the function of this report is that it provides a list of revisions that have adjusted the budget for a specific account budget code in a budget code or fund code. So if, for an example, you have one account that looks really off and you don't remember any adjustments that you've made to it, this report um, can will provide a list of any budget revisions that have adjusted that account so that you can figure out what caused a weird issue that you're seeing in an account and help you to determine what the correct fix is to get the account where you believe it should be. Um, and this this report can be really useful for identifying those those problems. And that is the last report that we'll go through today if you have any additional questions about reporting in ibis please reach out to your budget execution analyst at osbm and we'll be happy to help you out thanks so much everyone